Today I'm going to be talking about the process of cloning your C drive, your boot drive on Windows 10 to a different hard disk or SSD, especially if you're doing it to a larger disk, which is what I need to do today. So if we look in the window here, you'll see that I have a C drive that is 250 gigs, um, actually formatted to only 232 gigs and I'm constantly running out of space. But inside the machine, I had an extra SATA cable available, so I plugged in a new SSD that's 500 gigs. And so what I want to do is clone the C to the E, and then I want to restart and make this drive my boot drive. And so that's the process we're going to work through. There are a lot of different software packages you can use to do this, but for me, the most important thing was I wanted something that not only would do the job, but was free. Because this is not something uh, I plan to do a lot. I don't think I'll even need to use this program anytime again real soon. So I didn't want to pay $30, $40 for something I would just use once. So what I found was a program called Macrium Reflect. And they do have a free version, which is, called, which is the uh, home use version. And if you scroll down here, the one thing that's important that I was looking for is this direct disk cloning. And you'll see that it is in the free version. So that, while it does have a lot of other really great features, um, none of those are really important to me at this point. I just want this one option. And so I downloaded it. I already have it installed. And that's what we're going to walk through right now. So I'm going to launch this. And when it first appears, it shows you all of your current drives. So right here is my C drive, and you'll see there's multiple partitions. I have uh, another drive here. This is the new one, which has a couple invisible partitions and one very large one that's empty. And then I have two extra dis disks that I use for other things that, that aren't boot drives. They're just extra data drives. And so we're going to start by clicking on this first drive here and we're going to choose the option to clone. And remember, uh, at this point, it's a good idea just to slow down and make sure everything you do at this point is what you mean to do. Because the last thing you want to do is clone one drive over another drive that you had not intended to replace. And so I know this is the right one because it's my C drive. It says right here, C drive. And also because it's the only Samsung I have in there that is 250 gigs. So I'm going to select that and then choose clone. So by default, it already filled out the source and now I need to select the destination disk. What do I want to clone it to? And so here I'm going to choose disk two because it is also a Samsung, but it's a 500 gig and I know I only have one of those in there. So I'm going to click on that. And the first thing to do is to remove the current partitions. And so I'm just going to hit delete existing partitions and I'll click on each one and then delete it. So now I have the full drive available to me. And the basic idea is to move each of these partitions down and we want to expand this middle one. And the first thing I tried to do was move each one down like this. And then there's this big chunk at the end. And I wanted to add it to this, obviously, but because the partitions are not next to each other and because you can't really reorder them, that didn't work very well. There wasn't any, any way for me to join this to this. So let's uh, undo that. Okay. And we're going to start again. We're going to drag it down, and you'll see the size stays the same, 200 megs, 200 megs. The relative size of these boxes is not accurate. It's, it's more of a reference than anything. We're going to drag this one down. That one is currently 232 gigs. What I really need to do is combine it with this here, but leave just enough room for this last one. So this last one is 509 megs. So that's an important number to keep in mind. So we're going to click on this one and we're going to click on properties and what we need to do and right here you'll see we can kind of expand now into that empty space but what we're going to do to be a little more accurate is we're going to choose megabytes 
and we're going to say we want to take everything except 509 megs because that's all we need to leave available for the last partition. Okay, so that means the main partition will go up to 465 gigs and it will leave just enough for the last partition. So I hit OK. And again, these are not to size because clearly um, 465 is much larger than 232, but they're exactly the same size. And I'm going to grab this last one and drop it in to the 509. So now the first and last partition match and the middle one is what's going to be expanded. So I'm going to click Finish. And we're not going to save this as an XML because we don't. I'm not going to do this again later. I just want to run it now. So I'm going to hit OK. It's just giving me a warning that it's going to be overwritten because it did find some partitions. And I'm going to click here, say Continue. And it's important to point out that while you're doing this process, it's a good idea not to be running a whole bunch of other apps at the same time or downloading email or browsing the web because uh, the, the idea is you want to copy the C drive over and not have a lot of activity going on at the same time. For one, it may make it more difficult to get an exact clone, but two, um, it's also going to slow down the process if you're doing multiple things at the same time. So I'm going to let this run. It should take about 20 minutes, maybe a little less, and, and then I'll jump back in. Okay, looks like it has completed. So let's close this out. And a quick glance in the window, you can see I still have my C drive, but now I have another boot drive. And it looks like it also uh, copied over the name, so let's fix that in a second. And so I have my C drive, I have a couple other drives that were just my data drives, and now I have this new larger boot drive, but let's rename it just to make sure they're distinguishable. Alright, so what I need to do now is reboot to my 500 gig drive and just confirm that everything is working correctly. Okay, so I rebooted the computer, I entered the BIO screen and selected my new drive as my boot drive and right away it came up and as you can see here my 500 gig is now the C drive and the old 250 is now an extra drive and so what I'll probably do is run this for a week or two just make sure there's no issues and then I'll just reformat and reuse the other SSD but all in all um, going through the process took about 20 minutes and uh, everything seems to be working fine so hopefully if this is something you need to do, you found this tutorial helpful.